the following announcement has been paid for by Perched on the Top Rope. You got the raging Cajun, Lash LaRue, the one and only. You know, I spent the majority of my career perched on the top rope, and you are watching me now perched on the top rope with my man Lee Walker. Laissez le bon temps rouler and let those good times roll. I, I got to ask, I, I came across first seeing your drawings in – the uh wcw magazines lashing out as a kid and incredible incredible work i before i talk about that how did you get hooked up with uh doing your spots on ad free shows uh well you know i've kind of had that reputation of being the wrestler that can draw and I, you know, not maybe not necessarily drawing the houses, but I could draw the pictures, you know. And that's kind of been a known thing in, in wrestling. And Conrad Thompson, who I go way back with for many years, he kind of pulled me and goaded me out of retirement a little bit. He hit me up actually pre-pandemic with the idea of somehow utilizing the old lashing out cartoons that I did for the wrestling magazines and bringing them to a podcast format. And at the time, man, I had been away from the wrestling business for probably at least a decade. And I've always been one of those kind of people. Uh, when I step out of something or I make my decision to do something or to not do something, I'm all in 100%. And I'm not going to hokey pokey or put one foot in and take one foot out. And at the time, my feeling was I'm, a, I'm out of the wrestling business, man. And if I do a podcast, then a podcast is going to lead to an interview. And an interview is going to lead to uh, convention appearances. And convention appearances is going to lead to a wrestling match. And I'm back in the wrestling business again. Which, by the way, has kind of proved itself out a little bit, I guess. But with that <laughs> being said, I kind of uh, – Thank you, but no thank you at the time. And then a couple of years later, you know, you know how timing is so important in the wrestling business. I was approached once again with the idea once again, and it felt right. And, and I was far more comfortable with it. I was feeling more established and comfortable with my art business. And I didn't feel like I had too much bleed over at that point that I had created something on my own that was uniquely mine when it comes to my artwork. And that I can also take that and marry it with my wrestling background in my career in a way that really did not cheapen either one of them. In fact, it enhanced both of them. And the timing was just right for it, man. And, and since then, it has been a wonderful experience for me, not just because of the outlet that I get with my artwork, but also because it reminded me of what a unique relationship wrestlers have with the wrestling fans. My particular show is a format where uh, subscribers to adfreeshows.com can come on and they're right there with me and they're watching me draw live, sort of Bob Ross style, if you will. And they can ask me questions about whatever subject I'm drawing. If, if I'm drawing Cody Rhodes, they can ask me about Cody Rhodes or, or they can ask me about Dusty or even Dustin in my years with them. And so I get to tell stories. I get to answer questions. I get to interact with the fans and draw all at the same time. And it's incredibly satisfying and rewarding for me.